I'm Tom Howie. I'm Jimmy Valens. And we're Bob Moses. What's going on, Holly Wire? Holly Wire, what is going on? We got Bob Moses here. They're about to perform a private show. Guys, what's up? Not much, man. How are you? Pretty it's good. It's been a while. It's been a while. South by. We were South talking by. About it. All right, I'm going to play a game real quick here. Okay. It's going to be a Holly Wire first, okay? Okay, uh, first time you've ever had your heart broken. First time I've had my heart broken. Wow. That would have been like at a very young age. I think okay. I went up to like ask the girl to dance at like the high school dance and she was like, nah. No. And I was like, oh, the life, oh life, this is where the difficulty switch goes up on life, you know? Yeah, I forget. It's weird that I forget her name, but there was like, I went to this, I'm not Jewish, but like I had a lot of Jewish friends growing up and I went to somebody's bar mitzvah. And maybe it was like an older brother's bar mitzvah. I would have been like 10, 11. It was before I was like, like I don't think I'd hit puberty yet, you know what I mean? But like, I just remember there being this girl who like I danced with and then like I never talked to her again and I was like all emotional about it afterwards. And I was like, what is going on? You know? And that was terrible <laughs> yeah, after yeah, the, the bar mitzvah. Yeah. First pet you ever had? A gold, no, not a goldfish. A Siamese fighting fish called karate. Wow. I had a, a, a weird rodent called a Daegu, and I named it Reepicheep out of Narnia. Narnia? Yeah, that's a deep reference for it. I never knew that about Tom. <laughs> yeah, dude. God, I remember when I saw you guys, it was just you two guys, and you guys were like playing all the cool like indie spots at South By. Now you guys are tour huge tours, Coachella, Grammy nominations. It's been a wild ride, dude. Married. Yes. Married? Married. Married. Yes. Right on. I have a girlfriend and a dog. Got a pandemic pup, so like that's... That's basically married. I making moves. I was I was stalking the Instagram and I saw that there, there's a lot of talk about pandemic stuff in your guys' Instagrams and how you guys even wrote this music. Yeah, I mean it's called the silence in between because it kind of felt like the music all was born of like this. You know, we were the world as we knew it was kind of caving down around us, mm -hmm. and we were in this. We were stuck in this place where like the world we knew was was totally changed and we didn't know what was going to come next and we had all these questions like is our music career over do festivals come back right. like are we you know and so right. when we when you strip all that away we kind of realize like music is our life raft and it's like the thing that helps get us through so these are all really like honest songs about from that sort of place in between like our old life and our new whatever the new thing was going to be so. exactly and i was giving them compliments on the silence in between there's like a, a space in between each thing graphic designer shout out joe mortimer from Asshole Works, he's a uh, he's worked with us actually since days gone by. So really? we've known him with him, we've been with him for a while, and uh, uh, I mean he's just he's got an eye, you know. He's just he's got the magic touch. Get the magic touch. I was also, you guys are really killing it on TikTok. Like I saw your TikTok game. You guys are doing these story these tour stories, and you have a great yeah. Foo Fighters tour we, story. We, where some, we, you we're shots with somebody. Yeah. I uh, I embarrassed myself in front of Dave Grohl is what I should say. Which like. I recently watched his hot ones and I've now realized that like that's what I did was totally fine, you know? Totally fine. Yeah. It's like he's just if you're gonna embarrass yourself in front of somebody, he's the guy that'll be like, Yeah, this dude's all right, you know? But um they're great. Tom, they're cool guys. What do you got? What's going on with your tour story? What do you got for us? You want the Dave Grohl story? Oh, any story you got. Um yeah, okay. any you I mean Jimmy's a tour story guy, let's be real. I try okay, to like okay. keep I up. A, I got a good tour story for you. This is like an exclusive. How about this? So like when we played <laughs> Coachella the first time, right? You know, Tear Me Up's just starting to take oh. off, and it's the second to last song in our set. And at that point, you know, we were like setting up our own equipment, we were like kind of bootstrapping it, and I forgot to do any gaff taping. So yeah, we didn't know about gaff tape yet. Gaff I still tape. don't know. Well, I was so nervous. It's very it. strong tape. Yeah, gaff tape is like that's the good stuff. You know, that's you can make stuff. a suit out of that. People would be like, "What is that Versace?" You're like, no, gaff tape. Gaff you know, tape. it's like, yeah, it's great. So it's central for any stage. <laughs> we didn't use it, so we have this windy, bassy, oh, wow. topsy turvy thing, and um, the laptop, which is running like the keyboard sounds and some auxiliary stuff, during tearing me up. So the peak of the set just boom fell over five feet onto the ground and i see the camera guy he's like he's just shocked everything's still working keys and boards are still playing music's still happening and he comes and he during the song picks up the laptop and like the screen is shattered and he's sliding it back onto my little station i see like the usb for like where the sound comes out is like bent at a 90 oh degree. that's awful and i have no like you know computers are the kind of things like if you don't turn it off 
the right way, it never works again. And so I have no idea to this day how the music still came out and we were able to finish the set. I was totally unaware of this, by the way. You didn't even know what's going on. This is my own personal I was in my own world. Stuff going on. This is my own personal. Oh, he hit it very well. Does your mom know about all these tour stories? I see that you, you asked your mom a lot of opinions about your music, <laughs> and it's great. I mean, that's I love that mothers can be involved. She's like the she's like the momager without any of the management stuff. So yes. she just is like momagers. <laughs> you know, she's a big fan. I would even say she's like uh, championing for number one. You know. Oh. But um. No, it's just great to, like, she's, a, she's obviously very supportive and loves Tom and I, and, like, you know, it's great. Now, Tom, you have a hat game. Like, how many of these hats do you have? We've all been seeing these hats. Not too many. I I, I have a few. This one is made in L.A. Okay. by this guy named Busto and Son. Wow. Topanga. Cool. Handmade. He's got this little thing. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much, Hollywire. Peace out.